His Highness Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan, a rare jewel who transformed the world. Sheikh Zayed, the father of a nation. Countless kings and presidents have come and gone, many of which we don't even remember. But His Highness Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan was one of a kind, a true leader who left a legacy unlike any other before him. To this day, the world remembers his greatness, a man of resolute character who never compromised on his principles, an Arab loyal to the sand of the desert and customs of his ancestors. Most important of all, a leader so beloved to his people that they saw him as their father. Sheikh Zayed envisioned the people of the Emirates unified and prospering. It was a desert of poor scattered tribes. With his dedication and leadership, he brought them together as one nation we now know as the United Arab Emirates. Today, the UAE is a model of growth and prosperity. Raising a Leader Named after his grandfather, Zayed the Great, Sheikh Zayed was destined to follow in the footsteps of his father and grandfather to one day become the ruler of Abu Dhabi. Born in 1918, he was the youngest of Sheikh Sultan bin Zayed Al Nahyan and Sheikha Salama bint Buti Al Kabasi's four sons. He was taught to read and write and study the Quran. That was all the education the tribesmen received, even nobles. But Sheikh Zayed was a very talented young man with high aims. He was eager to learn from his surroundings and experiences. He would often join his father's political meetings and learned how to interact with people. He observed how to deal with situations and work out solutions. One of his most valuable lessons was to maintain a shira. Now, what is a shira? In the Islamic world, it is a committee to discuss and seek counsel on important matters. Sheikh Zayed always welcomed advice from his fellow members of the Shira'a. He also never hesitated to make tough decisions. As much potential Sheikh Zayed showed as a statesman, he was also a very able huntsman. He inherited the love of hunting from his father. When he was merely a young boy, he showed immense skill, never letting the prize escape. It foreshadowed the resolve of a leader who would not let any storm shake him from his path. The determination that meant no mountain was too tall. Sheikh Zayed's thirst for knowledge from a very young age prompted him to travel across the Emirates and spend time with various local tribes. Living alongside the common man as one himself, he gained respect for his resilience. He lived with them in the harshness of scorching heat with barely any resources. It created a lasting bond between him and the Arab culture, which would eventually lay the foundation of his dream of a united Arab nation. Setting Sail – The Governorship of Al Ain Before taking on as the ruler of Abu Dhabi, Sheikh Zayed was appointed governor of Al Ain in 1946. Despite scarce funds, he was motivated to see the region progressing. He set up a basic administration system, established schools, and constructed roads. His tenure also saw a fairer distribution of the water supply by revising local ownership rights. Today, Al Ain is one of the UAE's greenest regions. From tribes to a nation. Experienced from his time in Al Ain, Sheikh Zayed was ready to implement his plan on a much larger scale. In 1966, he succeeded his brother, Sheikh Shakbut, as the ruler of Abu Dhabi. At the time, oil had been recently discovered and was to be imported. Sheikh Zayed knew this was a chance for the people of the Arab world to come together for a prosperous future. Eventually, the perfect opportunity came knocking. The British announced to leave the Arab soil in 1968, leaving behind seven trucial states. Sheikh Zayed met with his friend and Dubai counterpart, Sheikh Rashid bin Said Al Maktoum, to discuss the idea of a federation for the Trucial States and Qatar and Bahrain. 
It was not an easy task getting all the leaders to agree to his vision, but Sheikh Zayed was determined to achieve what was deemed impossible. The dream came true in 1971, when six trucial states joined the Federation, while the seventh, Ras al Haima, followed soon afterward. Unsurprisingly, Sheikh Zayed was unanimously elected as the first president of the Federation. One of his first acts was establishing the Federal National Council, a parliament for the whole UAE. However, many continued to doubt the newborn state's future. They believed infighting among the tribes and the instability in the region would ultimately prevail. But Sheikh Zayed was unmoved by the criticism. He had proven himself by uniting the nation and was eager to see them prospering together. With his tireless effort and commitment, UAE soon became a pillar of strength and unity, a power the world could no longer ignore. The leaders and locals trusted Sheikh Zayed so much that they kept on re-electing him as the president until his demise. They knew that he would never shy away from taking difficult stances, an ambassador of peace who preferred compromise over conflict, discussion over war. He was brave in his decisions. It was made absolutely clear to the world that Sheikh Zayed was a man of morals, no matter the cost. Baba Zayed, Father of the People. Sheikh Zayed was a simple man. He would often spend his time contemplating in the desert. He would never think of himself as superior to the people. As he said, the ruler, any ruler, is only there to serve his people and secure for them prosperity and progress. To the people of UAE, he was Baba Zayed, meaning Father Zayed. Baba Zayed's care and affection extended beyond borders. He always came to the support of countries in need. He was at the forefront of the fight against malnutrition and poverty alongside the UN. Moreover, Sheikh Zayed initiated the Zayed Charitable and Humanitarian Foundation and Abu Dhabi Fund for Development. His armed forces were always available for peacekeeping missions. They were deployed in Somalia and Lebanon to help the countries rebuild after the civil wars. They forced Serbia to stop the genocide of the people of Kosovo. Ruler of Hearts Peace and tolerance are the heart of Islam. Sheikh Zayed's rule showed it to the whole world. He treated everyone equally, regardless of religion, caste, or creed. To treat every person, no matter what his creed or race, as a special soul is a mark of Islam. During his time, many churches and other places of worship were built in the region. UAE became a hub where people from all religions and backgrounds would come in search of better opportunities. The woman is half of the society. Influenced by the two most important women in his life, his mother, Sheikha Salama, and his wife, Sheikha Fatima bint Mubarak, Sheikh Zayed was a strong advocate for women's rights. Sheikha Salama instilled the values of care, affection, and mercy in her son from a very young age, and Sheikh Zayed never forgot his mother's teachings. Sheikh Zayed ensured women were provided with better education and employment opportunities, and Sheikh Fatima strived alongside him. For UAE to become a great nation, its females had a pivotal role to play. The woman is half of the society. Any country which pursues development should not leave her in poverty or illiteracy. Today, more than half of UAE's women are part of the labor force. The man who turned the desert green. Not very long ago, when anyone heard about the United Arab Emirates, a picture would pop in mind. Sand dunes rolling across the desert, hot wind flowing through, and poor Bedouins on camels wandering across the barren land in search of sustenance. After Sheikh Zayed's visionary leadership, this changed. The UAE not only became a powerful federation, but in many ways a role model for the world. Many countries look up to Sheikh Zayed for his efforts to preserve the environment. He had spent much of his time close to nature and knew it was as important as progress. He oversaw large-scale afforestation to protect the lands and tackle rising temperatures. 
The improvement in irrigation was so impressive that today, 20% of the world's date palms are produced by the UAE. Like the land, the wildlife of the desert also occupied a special place in Sheikh Zayed's heart. Hunting endangered species such as the Arabian oryx and the sand gazelle was banned and inland reserves were established so they could be looked after. Sheikh Zayed was greatly fascinated by the Arab breed of horses. There's a special bond between a horse and its master, one that the Arabs had shared for generations. He set up special stables to promote modern breeding methods and personally oversaw their well-being. He attended races and rewarded the winners in order to promote the sport. It is to his credit that Arab horses entered the global sporting arena. Flying with the Falcons. Falconry was not just a hobby for Sheikh Zayed. It is a sport embedded into the culture of the desert people and Sheikh Zayed always kept firm to his roots. He did not like the modern, brutal method of hunting and encouraged the idea of sustainable hunting. Hunting of captive bred falcons was promoted and falcon passports were issued. A skilled huntsman himself, the sport thrived under his guidance. Impeccable marksmanship, patience, and the joys of companionship are just a few traits shared by Sheikh Zayed the hunter and Sheikh Zayed the statesman. Sheikh Zayed's environmental efforts were acknowledged worldwide. The World Wildlife Fund, WWF, honored him with the Golden Panda Award in recognition of his contributions to protecting endangered animals. The UN appreciated his reshaping of the agricultural sector with a gold medal. Reaching for the stars, I had many dreams. I dreamt of our land keeping pace with the growth of the modern world the people, the land, and the environment. But to Sheikh Zayed, even the sky wasn't the limit. Five decades ago, NASA's space team, led by Dr. Farouk El-Baz, met with Sheikh Zayed to show him their design for a future space shuttle. He knew that day wasn't far when there was a space team from the UAE. On the 25th of September, 2019, Haza El-Mansouri became the first astronaut from UAE. Fittingly, he carried the slogan of Zayed's ambition. Now, UAE's Hope Space Mission has their sights set on Mars, daring to dream even bigger. The dream lives on. Sheikh Zayed departed this world on 2nd November 2004 and was succeeded by his son, Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed. His demise was a difficult day for the global community, but the spirit of Zayed is still truly alive alive in the hearts of the Emiratis, and there it continues to beat. They declared 2018 the year of Zayed, celebrating 100 years since his birth. A year of festivities and reflection, it was dedicated to the countless achievements of the founding father of the UAE. The occasion served as a reminder to embody the values, peace, tolerance, and honesty, that are at the core of the country's foundation the Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque captivates tourists from all over the globe. The Abu Dhabi Cricket Stadium, named in his honor, is a center for global sporting events. To think these are just a few of the many places inspired by Sheikh Zayed and created as a tribute to him and his ways makes us all go wow. Around the world, numerous landmarks have been named after the great leader. Sheikh Zayed International Airport in Pakistan a lecture theater at the London School of Economics and a street in Montenegro, all dedicated to him. Sheikh Zayed, an inspiration for generations to come. Like a rare timeless jewel, Sheikh Zayed transformed the world with his compassion, wisdom, and leadership. His impact will always be cherished and his journey will continue to inspire. The journey of an ambitious boy who grew into a resilient and empathetic man Rarely have we seen a leader achieve so much in his lifetime, a leader whose wealth was in the smiles of his citizens. In the words of Sheikh Zayed, wealth is not in money, wealth lies in men. This is where true power lies, the power we value.